Hello and good morning. Today I am doing a vlog. I'm going to be getting my hair cut, which is very exciting. Yeah, this is June 2020. This is like lockdown era and I last got my hair cut New Year's Eve 2019. It is now, I want to say July 8th, boom. <laughs> it's now July 8th. I'm getting my hair cut. I'm so excited. It's been six months. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Fucking hell. <laughs> It'll come out eventually. It's very long. It's very, very long. And obviously this is it like wavy as well. If you want to know how I get my hair wavy, I have like a whole video on it. If you want like the very short summary, my biggest secret weapons are hair moisturizers from Lush. So I have pretty much just finished a tub of the goddess one. I've still got like the tiniest bit left. <laughs> I absolutely love that this pot is called goddess. So I'm going to be keeping this one like as a succulent pot or a storage pot or something. Like I'm definitely going to keep it. I just think that looks so cool. Like ooh, goddess. It's also an exclusive product, like it's only available in the Lash Oxford Street store and I don't know how long it'll be available for either, so that also makes it like extra special. But I am using this one now, R&B. This one's a lot less exclusive and I think I prefer the smell of this one as well. It makes me a bit more comfortable recommending it to you guys, so as much as I have loved the goddess one. I'm also enjoying this R&B one. But anyway, yeah, I am getting my hair cut. As you can see, I've got a lot of hair and it's not really got much shape to it right now. So I'm just looking forward to getting some layers cut in, just having a lot of weight taken out of it. And I'm going to be going to the rabbit hole, which is the vegan hair salon. It's in West London. Um, I should know how I'm getting there. Um, it's near where my nan lives. So I'm gonna pay a visit to my nan first, keep social distance, but yeah, just um, make sure she's doing okay. Do a couple of errands for her and then I'm gonna go to the hairdressers, get my hair cut. It's also raining today, which is really upsetting me. Like you don't wanna leave the hairdressers and have it rain on you. Also, I've got like no social plans. I was gonna meet up with a friend, um, again, socially distancing, but we've called it off because of the weather. We don't really wanna go into a pub right now. We would rather sit outside and maintain distance that way. So we've called that off, which is annoying because I was gonna be like, oh Jess, look at my hair. I've actually recently dyed my hair. I've gone for a chocolate brown and I'll link the video up here. Yeah, I kind of wish I went even darker if I'm honest, but I'm gonna like just give my hair a break because I can feel that the dye has damaged it a little bit. So I'm looking forward to having a treatment put on it later today as well as having the cut. I can't wait. <laughs> my hair just really, really needs it. I haven't done a vlog in a long time, so I thought it'd be quite fun to do a video in that sort of format. And I'm just about to put on my makeup and I thought it'd be a good time to check in. I am really, really hungry right now, but I um, I basically do intermittent fasting. So I eat within an eight hour window. So I don't normally start eating until 11 a.m. ish, but I was drinking last night. I had some like vodka tonics in my bedroom. And when I drink, I wake up really, really hungry. So it's a bit of a struggle today but normally it's really just fine i've got the evolve climate veil going on right now i absolutely love this in the summer except for the fact the very big fact that it only comes in one shade so i don't really like recommending it i'm gonna be quite disappointed when it runs out if i'm honest because i do really enjoy the light sheer coverage of it but yeah i was sent this as a pr sample rather than something i bought so to say I wouldn't be repurchasing it until they came out with an adequate shade range would be a bit of a stretch because I never purchased it in the first place. But yeah, that's how I feel about the product. I have done a full review on it, so you can go check that out. But yeah, it is a really nice, easy wear in the summer. Like most people, I'm not really going for a lot of heavy makeup right now. I've got like this Kush Brow Gel. I like the natural look this gives. I think I'm gonna try and like stick to only using this on my brows going forward. I was watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer last night and Cordelia Chase is my ultimate like beauty icon and her brows were just like really nice and understated. Obviously it was the 90s. So it just made me think like, ah, uh, I actually quite like how understated brows used to look. So yeah, I'm trying to cut back on how much product I put on my eyebrows with that in mind. If you are still watching a lot of TV and you're looking for a new show and you haven't watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer yet, please do watch it. It's the best show ever. I believe it's on 4OD right now. It's on Amazon Prime as well. So there are a couple of different ways you can watch it. Really recommend it. It is absolutely my favorite show. Talking about favorites, this eyeshadow palette is like the only eyeshadow palette I ever use. So we're actually in plastic free July right now. And like clearly this is not plastic free. So I've had this for like years and it's just my favorite eyeshadow palette. It's got all the colors I would ever want in it. It's just my old reliable. And when we're talking about sustainability, I think it's so much more important to just 
used products that you know you love than to make sure you're buying zero waste. Like, if I buy this and it lasts me three years, I'm not feeling guilty about the little bit of plastic in here. I just, I, I don't, that's a good purchase still. So I think a lot of the time it is more about buying less and not being caught on impulse buying and trend buying. Like the beauty industry is so bad for trends and it drives me crazy. Whereas this palette, because I know it's colors that I absolutely love, I, I've just been wearing it for years and years and it's not kind of like coming in and out of trends. So yeah, I've just done a little bit of like brown and red around my eyes. Sometimes I just want to chuck away all my makeup except for like five things and just like live my new life. But it's so hard when like, obviously I want to review stuff. Like for example, right now I've just done a sort of like plastic free makeup look on Instagram. So I need to have a lot of plastic free products even if I don't use them on daily for when I want to do something like that and showcase off those products. Similarly, if I wanted to do um, something a bit more along the lines of like luxurious or bougie, vegan products I'd want to have like some of those still saved up and then if I want to do something more affordable vegan makeup then I'd want those products saved up so you see where my issue is it's like I kind of do need to stockpile these things for when I want to do a big video but yeah maybe I just need to lock them all away and then just have a makeup bag that I use on the daily. That might be the solution. I am actually moving this week, so maybe that is something I can take into play with my move. I don't know, sometimes I still like to play about with my makeup though. I have a basket here, <laughs> and this isn't even all my makeup because I have put some of it away. So I've been really loving this shade lately. It is Brave by Axiology, and I feel like it just really suits me with my tan. I always find that really interesting about like the summer months is just like different colors will work on you once you've like got a different skin tone going on. It can also be frustrating like you'll have a shade which you thought was like perfect for you and then you get a tan and it no longer really works and it's same when you dye your hair like when I, when my hair goes lighter or darker I notice that different colors sit differently on me and I just yeah I always find that really interesting mascara so because we're in plastic free July I've had a lot of questions about mascara and plastic free mascaras I've got no good recommendations for you guys. I've just done a plastic free YouTube video the other week and I did use a mascara from a tin and you can go and watch that and see exactly why I hate it. I have like quite the brow, so I always struggle with mascaras. Like I just always end up with transfer up here. I think that's gonna be all the makeup I'm doing for today. I have an Eden perfume here. I think I might actually do a, a new perfume walkthrough. I've done like a perfume to clutter on here before but I've definitely got a lot more perfume since then. There have been a couple new brands that have launched so I'd be keen to do an updated one and give you guys my thoughts on some different perfumes. But Eden are actually my favourite at the moment. This is 491. It's a bit more of a summery fragrance. I think there are a few Lush fragrances which are more like my um, winter favourites than Eden. I find I just prefer for summer scents I guess. I think Pacifica also have a couple of nice scents that I like for the summer, but those are in storage at my mum's. So this is why I'm kind of like waiting. One, I lost my sense of smell a while back and it's like pretty much just come back. I feel like I've just had a big like level up on that. I can smell like mown grass and I don't know, there have just been different things which I've started smelling again. Beyond my smell also, I've had just a lot of stuff in storage at my mum's. I was meant to go <laughs> traveling. I was actually meant to go traveling this summer. I was gonna travel Europe, but a lot has changed this year. 2020 has been a bit of a curveball, so yeah. I don't know what I'm up to. I've got a coffee over there, which I'm probably gonna drink. And then I'm looking forward to eating. I think I will be eating a little earlier than usual today because we'll be leaving for my nan's at around 11. So that means I can eat at like 10. What's the time now? I got woken up really early this morning because it's like bin day, so the bin men woke me up very early. So it's currently like 9.37. Property in London moves really, really fast. I actually haven't even seen the flat we're moving into. My best friend has, and I've seen like, we viewed a flat, the floor above it, and we fell in love with it, but we missed out on that one. So when there was one available, the floor below, I was like, oh my gosh, you have to go see this because the view was amazing in this flat and it was a great location. So Shada went and saw it, she took some videos for me and we were just like, yes, let's go for it. So I actually haven't seen where I'm moving into and we are moving on Friday. We've got like access to it from Thursday. It's now Wednesday and we're only just signing the contract. This is renting in London, it's crazy. But um, also, side note, if anyone is looking to rent in London right now and like right now during this like COVID-19 issue, the first estate agent we went with spoke to us and just said like, look, so many flats are going empty right now. So if you are looking for somewhere, like just knock 100 pounds off of what they're asking when you put in your offer, like they still might negotiate you. You are able to actually offer under what they're asking. I didn't know that was a thing ever. So um, take advantage of that and do not 
just give them what they're asking do go under and already a lot of these properties have already slashed down there are also a lot of airbnbs on the market for renting which otherwise wouldn't be because no one's getting airbnbs right now like god london renting is still so so expensive don't get me wrong but it is the most like cost effective it has ever been but still you can't change the fact that a lot of us aren't doing as financially well as we were um <laughs> pre-covid so yeah just thought it was worth mentioning yeah okay i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit i'm not going for anything too exciting for breakfast i think i'm just gonna have a um crumpet or two crumpets two crumpets in fact i think i have it with peanut butter so yeah that is my um exciting breakfast i'm glad this isn't uh what i eat in a day this is my outfit i'm wearing like dungarees thought they'd be cute so i've tied this jumper up i think you can just about see it's just a bit drizzly out there but i'm still in a skirt like this is a mini skirt so i still might change i might change my mind about whether or not i want to wear a skirt today because it's quite warm out but it's like rainy i hate this weather you don't really know how to dress i'll probably want to take an umbrella but yeah i feel quite cozy for now and god i just can't wait <laughs> to get my hair cut um I've tied up a bubble bit here, so it looks like I've got a little less, but yeah, just really, really excited. I might change my necklace as well. I've got like a little coin one, which I think go cuter with this outfit. But yeah, crumpet time. I am really really hungry like uh, I'm really hungry and I've just realized I'm not really going to be eating whilst I'm out today I probably might grab a snack or two if I pass a prayer I'm sure I won't be able to resist but um yeah I don't yeah I'm gonna have a big breakfast I'm gonna have a bagel as well it's not the most nutritious thing but um yeah carbs and butter I'm excited so I've just left my nans and I'm walking to the salon now I'm definitely running a bit early but God, I'm just so, so excited. There's so much hair, I just can't wait. Um, I'm really, really worried that it's gonna just start like chucking it down on me. Um, I've got like a 30 minute walk and raindrops starting to fall. We'll see, I've got an umbrella in my bag, but yeah, I'd really rather not be rained on right now. So I've made it to the salon, which I'm very happy about. I've got my mask right here, ready to go on. And yeah, I'm very excited. I'm going to leave here a whole new woman. Look, we've got a happy cow there. amazing oh my gosh it's so nice having a haircut i've actually ended up by st paul's i got back on the victoria line is that it the blue one or was it the district line i got back on the tube and instead of getting off closer to waterloo i kind of got off where i used to work just so i can go and walk back i guess it's just nice walking around london particularly right now during lockdown it's still still quite quiet which you'll probably struggle to be because it's actually quite noisy around here it is starting to rain a little bit though so i may have really done badly here anyway yeah the rabbit hole the vegan salon is incredible and i absolutely love what she's done with my hair like she used blades to cut it more than scissors i swear which was incredible and i've got so many layers it just looks so good it feels so much better guys i just i love it absolutely adore it okay i'm gonna get on i've got um i'm really not eating well today so i've got myself a chocolate bar here it's a bit like a bounty this is by like rhythm 108 and they sent me over like all three of their flavors and this is like my least favorite it's the last ones i have but check out the rest of their chocolates because they're delicious and if you like bounties then check out these but we all know they're always the last in the box and that is the stage i'm at so i think i've mentioned it once twice but i am leaving in two days now i need to pack so um i'm gonna make a start and get some things packed basically so that's what i'm up to the rest of this evening i'm not really looking forward to it but yeah my hair is lovely i really am enjoying it here we go there's a lot less of it which i'm very happy about i'm keen to see what it looks like when i've got it a bit more wavy but yeah 
all in all i am very happy with it and i really enjoyed my time at the rabbit hole the vegan salon but i was so happy to leave and finally take off that mask it was optional to wear a mask in there but considering how many people they must come into contact with it just feels like the right thing to do to wear a mask there and really minimize the exposure they have to people like it's just not fair for me to go in there without a mask i don't think so even though i was allowed to it didn't feel right so i didn't do that but yeah let me know what you think for the hair i'm loving it i've got so many layers oh my gosh but yeah i'm gonna tie it up and just get to work on this room <sighs> god yeah packing's the worst yay as high as I thought it was. I'm like stacking here as well. Maybe if I zoom out, you'll be able to see. Nope, this is zoomed out. Hey guys. <laughs> um, if I slouch and we move you away, this works. Oh, I really am loving my new hair. Like, let's get this back out. Yeah, so I've just been packing for quite a while. I am very bored of it. So tomorrow I am off to my mum's. That's where I put like everything in storage and I'm gonna be like reshuffling stuff there, figuring out what's mine, what belongs to my ex Tom and saving that stuff for him. It's gonna be quite a day. <laughs> Today we finally managed to get our contract. Actually no, we still haven't done that. We still haven't actually got our contract across. So we're actually able to move in to our flat from tomorrow, but we still haven't even signed the contracts or gotten the money across. It's just weird. This is London renting. They like only sent the contract over last night at midnight and they misspelt my friend's name. So like obviously things aren't going well. It, it'll be fine. It's going to be really exciting. I just can't wait to move in. I'm absolutely loving my hair. I feel like a completely different woman. I'm interested to see how much like shorter it looks when my hair goes to like its natural wavy state. It just feels so light and healthy, but I've not really lost a lot of length. I've just got a lot of layers and yeah, I'm just really happy. I would hugely recommend the vegan salon, the rabbit hole in West Kensington. It is just incredible. And usually they like have like vegan tea and biscuits available too. Obviously everything was really limited today. They've been around since like 2012. They're like the originals of the vegan salon scene in London. And they use a combination of OA and organic color systems in their salon. They're not one of those vegan salons which like stocks Purology which is owned by L'Oreal like there's nothing worse than when I think I found a vegan salon and that's what they've got. I, I just I don't support L'Oreal at all at all that's that's me. They did actually give me a little goodie bag of OA products to try out and OA are just like incredible hair care so this is really nice i'm just gonna show you a couple of things i got this glossy nectar rebuilding oil which i'm really excited to use this one i'm really excited about because i've just run out of hair oil or i'm on like my last like pump or two of hair oil yeah i'm really happy to now have a hair oil back in the game and i also have a moisturizing hair bath and a color protection hair mask so these two will be quite a nice treat for my hair. I feel like one day in the future it'd be really cool to do a like haul on some of my more bougie products. I feel like you guys often ask about makeup and I wouldn't say I'm that bougie on my makeup but when it comes to like skincare and like my nail varnish as well I feel like I do tend to go for like fancier brands which are like better quality so I'd actually be quite keen to do a video like that so let me know if you would like to see that like what high-end products are worth it basically and by high-end it might not even be like super expensive yeah so nothing ridiculous just you know the higher end of the scale which things are worth buying I feel like that would be a cool video I'll put it on my like notes um, I have a few videos on my notes which I think would be good ideas I just need to take the time to do them yeah it's been really fun vlogging today I feel like um, it felt like a good idea to vlog on a day when I had a lot going on but considering I've just spent like three months with not a lot going on this is actually felt kind of like exhausting <laughs> but it's actually been really nice chatting as well but yeah it's just a bit weird I'm like oh my god today has been a long day it's crazy it makes you wonder how we ever used to do so much pre-lockdown and I know for myself I'm just I was so stressed before lockdown like so so stressed and like it's 
I've been stressed for like a year as well like so this has really forced me to slow down and it's forced me to slow down I feel like I've gone too far to the other extreme where you don't do as much I am one of those people that like to be kept busy that like to socialize and I genuinely find things that keep me off my screen is when I hang out with friends and when I exercise so whilst I've been able to run I haven't been able to go to like my dance classes and cutting back on socializing it's made it really hard for me to kind of like disconnect from the screens so I feel like I need a bit of a balance of both in my life I don't know I'm trying to really take the time to remind myself of the good things about lockdown of the bad things about how i was living before and just make sure that i consciously go from like this version of me and don't return to the old version of me that was really stressed and overworked and try and kind of be a bit more efficient i just i'm one of those people that wants to do everything and i really kind of need to like rein it back and just say like no this is what you're doing this week and just do that and then you feel a lot more achieved and a lot more balanced because it gives you a chance to prioritize things a bit better those are my rambling thoughts i don't know what everyone else is like hoping to do post lockdown but yeah it just seems like such a foreign concept right now at the start of this year i thought i'd be traveling europe with my boyfriend all summer long with proper paid work but those contracts got cancelled i end up living at my sister's i'm now moving in with my best friend and work slowly kind of getting back on track and it's it's crazy <laughs> it's just crazy where things go it just feels a bit crazy and bewildering how much things have changed and i still feel just very unsettled and a little lacking in direction um at the moment i'm sure a lot of people kind of feel the same so yeah i don't know i've been very grateful that over lockdown i've really been able to invest more in what i'm doing with social media i've been lucky that i haven't had to pay much rent at my sister's so i've been able to keep my cost of living very low compared to what it was beforehand yeah i've been able to grow my tiktok i actually reached 20,000 followers on tiktok today like i think even by the time this video publishes i might have more followers on tiktok than i have on instagram and i've been putting everything into instagram for so long so that's just crazy and then over here on youtube we hit the 1000 mark and i wouldn't have been able to do that without lockdown i genuinely wouldn't have i've been able to invest so much more time into this and i actually really enjoy the chats we have on youtube so yeah i'm very grateful for that so whilst i definitely feel like lockdown completely flipped my life it gave me a chance to reflect repurpose chill and i'm really grateful for that and i'm really really fortunate to have had that sort of experience from lockdown and i really appreciate that and i, I just think we're all going to come out of this so different because no two people have had the same experience yeah it's going to be weird when we all do come out and we've all kind of had different versions of lockdown but anyway i think i will leave it there i think i'm probably gonna just watch some youtube tonight and i actually started a giveaway today on my instagram for a luna coconut rum which is incredible rum by the way it's so nice if you like coconut rum but not like how really sickly sweet a lot of them are this is like the one for you and the packaging is just gorgeous i'm sorry by the time this video goes live that competition would have ended i don't know if i'll have drawn a winner yet um <laughs> <laughs> probably not i'm really slow at that but yeah i've been reading through the entries i've asked people to let me know their favorite cocktails and like someone was talking about like sex on the terrace like who knew that was a cocktail i've just had some really like nice ones come in today and i might go like make myself a type of like white russian tonight i reckon this has just been so rambly i'm so sorry thank you so much for you are still with me once i've moved i'm gonna try and do like a proper what i eat in a day and some flat tours and stuff because i think that'll be fun i'm really overwhelmed by how messy my room is right now as well so i am going to go but thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in and yeah <laughs> let me know if you'd like to see more vlogs i don't think this is gonna do too well i don't often do well on vlogs so <laughs> thank you if you are still watching like can you let me know down below if you are i'd be really stunned if anyone is but yeah no please it just seems pointless to say now but yeah like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this and yeah do let me know if you'd like more vlogs and what sort of vlogs you'd like to see anyway until next time bye